Shalom. Welcome back, everyone. You know, it seems these days that people have no respect for law whatsoever and no respect for courts whatsoever. In fact, recently, the uh, judgment of the Supreme Court of the United States to overturn the uh, famous case of Roe versus Wade demonstrates that very much. People didn't like that judgment, and they protested against it publicly and in the media and everywhere. People have no respect whatsoever for the decisions of the Supreme Court. Well, whichever way you believe, whether they did the right thing or did not do the right thing, it was a Supreme Court decision. And the Supreme Court is the highest court of the land. It seems today that people have no respect for law. And why should they? After all, laws seem to be changing all the time. Uh, uh, there is a, uh, there is a um, radio personality in San Diego who says that you shouldn't call lawmakers by that name because it only encourages them. I guess what he means is to encourage them to make more laws. And it seems that there's always a lot of laws. People are making laws, they're breaking laws, they are changing laws, they're adapting laws. If a law is made today, it can be changed tomorrow. The uh, president of the United States didn't like the decision of the Supreme Court, so he's making an executive decision to change that. Why not? He's the president. He can do that. People have no respect for law whatsoever. And why should they? Laws, after all, are made by human beings. And human beings can change the laws depending on circumstances, depending on the times in which we live. But it's a sad thing because by doing that, we are showing our disdain for law. Our, we, we don't have any regard for law. And what does this teach our children to regard law as something which is not important, something which can be changed, something that we should even make fun of? How sad that is and how, dis, how depressing that is to society. This Shabbos, we read the portion of Chukas, where the Torah begins, this is the laws of the Torah, Zos Chukas Torah. These are the laws of the Torah. The Chukim are laws which have no reasons given whatsoever. They are simply laws given by God. And they are not laws that can be changed either, because after all, God is the one who makes those laws. In Judaism, we believe that law comes from God and if law is from God, that means it is immutable. It cannot really be changed. It can be slightly, uh, it can be slightly reevaluated over the years by great rabbis who are experts in the law. But the bottom line is, what is it that God wants? These are God's laws, and as God's laws, they need to be respected above all else because people did not make them; God made them, and therefore they are holy, and they are sanctified. And indeed, that has to be the response that we need to show our young people, that law is something that needs to be respected, something that <clears throat> cannot be changed so easily and so quickly. But rather, if laws come from God, that makes it into a whole different ballgame. This coming Shabbos is the Shabbos of Chukas. We will be davening at 742, which is candle lighting time. This coming Tuesday night is Yud Beis Tammuz, the anniversary of when the previous Lubavitcher Rebbe was released from prison by the uh, by the communists. Uh, that was on his birthday. There'll be Fabrengans held all over uh, the world based on Yud Beis Tammuz. We hope you'll participate in them. And I want to wish you all a very good Shabbos.